Welcome everyone. For this week, we're going to be focusing on the role of interest rates and how interest rates influence various decisions that we have to make. When you look at this chapter, you're going to look at the various types of interest rates and how interest rates influence the cost of borrowing money. We're going to look at the role of interest rates and the need for capital, inflation, security risk, and liquidity. And we're going to look at the yield curve as well. In chapter 7, we're going to look at the role of bonds and how the role of bonds is an instrument that we use as investing. You'll see that bonds are used as a debt instrument. And what is mean by a debt instrument it means that firms are offering bonds to pay off their existing debt. And they have to offer a certain rate to pay off their bonds. There's a different, two different types of bonds that we might look at, corporate bonds and government bonds. We're going to look at how bond prices are determined, the risk that's involved with bonds, and how that risk how in investors have to evaluate the risk. In chapter eight, we're gonna be looking at the difference between standalone risk and risk in a portfolio context. Then we're gonna be looking at the difference between risk aversion and how it affects the stock's rate of return, the difference between diversifiable risk and market risk, and we're gonna look at we're going to look at the differences of stock prices and how those stocks valuations will change when you look at risk. Risk analysis is an important topic, but it's kind of difficult to understand. It's more interesting when you have to go through the evaluation of risk because it makes you make a better determination. So when we look at this week, you want to focus on those key components and how the level of risk, interest rates, bonds, and stocks will all be influenced by one another. If you have any questions, let me know, but I look forward to, look forward to your participation this week.